And good morning. Thank you for joining me again. This is the third of three Baseball Classics introduction videos. Uh, I want to kind of wrap up things a little bit, and uh, I'm going to be showing you some gameplay of Baseball Classics um, in the uh, days to come uh, so you get a better sense of how the game plays and how everything kind of comes together. But I want to give you an, uh, some summary comments about the game that I have not uh, said in my first two videos. This is a little more editorializing, I guess, um, to uh, kind of sum up where we are about baseball classics. First one is die rolls. So if you play baseball classics and you uh, use the advanced version, you could have uh, the following die rolls. First would be a die roll for the play action simulator, which would start every advanced at bat. That's before you get to the readings, and that could lead you to a lot of different outcomes. But for the most part, uh, you're going to end up swinging away. In other words, you're going to move straight to the uh, batter pitcher interaction um, of the game. Uh, after the play action simulator roll is done, then you move to a second roll, which gets you to the player cards, either to the batter card if you roll a one on the binary die, or to the pitcher card if you roll a zero. Then you add up the three d6s and you get an outcome between three and 18, inclusive, and you see what the outcome of that is. If you're playing with the standard cards, you do not use lefty-righty splits, but if you're using the premium cards, you do. Then, if you don't get a strikeout, a walk, or a home run, you're going to make another die roll, a third die roll, and this would be an error check, regardless of whether you get a hit or an error, uh, or a hit or an out on that play. You're going to make an error check. If the error check is positive, you could make a fourth die roll, and that would determine uh, how many bases the runners advance on that play. The play action simulator is optional, so you don't have to use it. And so uh, if you choose not to, that would cut an, a die roll off of your, uh, off of your uh, per batter roll experience. All right, so let's talk about the game. It's been uh, criticized by some uh, and I think some of the criticisms are fair, like for any game, and some of them are not. So let's go through what those look like. There are a number of positives to this game, in my opinion. Uh, the first one is that the player cards are very aesthetically pleasing. They are color-coded to help you, especially if you're working with um, kids who are learning the game, or if you're not that comfortable with the game itself, the colors can help you determine what the outcomes are very, very quickly. So your, your look through the player card is a bonus. Uh, the number of outside charts that you need is pretty limited compared to some other games, um, and that's a positive. Uh, the ratings are basically one to four ratings. They're color-coded as well, but you're basically going from uh, excellent to poor on the ratings, and those are for um, defense, stealing, and base running. Pretty basic, but easy to understand and makes game play move more quickly. Um, and it also is similar to something like APA, which has three um, uh, base running uh, options um, uh, as well. Now, when it comes to purchasing the game, uh, you have a lot of different options. Um, you can go with uh, a franchise all-star set, which is I have purchased, and it's a lot of fun. I purchased that in the uh, uh, standard version, single, single column version. They have World Series sets, which are double column, uh, the premium version. And they also have all-star sets, which I've also purchased. Um, I have not purchased individual seasons uh, for baseball classics. However, they are available. They cost uh, about $75 per season, um, which is about the price of an APA season, uh, except baseball classics doesn't charge for shipping. So that would be an outcome uh, to consider as well. 
If you want individual teams for baseball classics, they average around five or six dollars uh, a team, depending upon if you want the premium version, which is more expensive, or the standard version, which is a little less expensive. They also have clubs to join, um, which obligate you to a certain amount of teams to purchase per month, um, uh, but uh, they reduce your costs as well. So if you're interested in individual team purchase, that's a very economical way to go as well, and you build your collection per month at a discount. And the shipping, of course, is always free with Baseball Classics, and uh, I think that's a bonus. Um, the criticisms that uh, I think are most uh, appropriate for Baseball Classics is the number of die rolls per batter. Um, uh, it's possible that the defensive ratings aren't... Uh, the defensive ratings are very focused on individual fielding percentage, which makes sense because that's what you look at when you do an error check. Range is not something that seems to be in this, um, except as it's built into the pitcher's card where singles happen, doubles happen, triples happen, and that those things are all reflected uh, on team range. Um, so that could be a plus or a minus, depending upon how you look at that. Um, you could argue also that the strategy for bunting, uh, stealing, and base running is too difficult to do. In other words, that the ratings are, are, are set on the charts so that even a good stealer is going to have trouble stealing bases. You could argue that, and I think that might be a fair criticism. However, let's look at some advantages of the game. One is the color coding of the cards and, and the way that the cards contain the outcomes for uh, the individual batter pitcher interaction. I think those are clear bonuses, no doubt about it. I know that the calculations have been criticized in the past for not being statistically accurate based on dice roll pop probabilities, but I think that's been taken care of. Uh, the games that I've played, and I've played a lot of them in baseball classics, um, the good teams are good, and the poor teams are not, and uh, the right teams seem to win most of the time, uh, like they should in a simulation uh, like this. Uh, so those are all bonuses. The other major bonus that I see is that they, and I know this is a concern of many gamers, is that uh, every single team in every single season is available in the uh, standard game. So if you want a single column card team, you will get um, uh, that team. Even if you want, um, I don't know, the Philadelphia Athletics from 1949, um, kind of an obscure team, they're going to have them. Whatever team you can dream up in professional baseball in the last 115, 120 years, they're going to have them for the standard game. They're adding to the premium game uh, amounts all the time, and they've added a piece uh, to the cards that they're going to be adding over time for premium play, and that is pitch-by-pitch availability so you can go pitch by pitch in your game if you want to not just batter roll by batter roll but pitch by pitch that's something that's different other games don't do it there's also a manager uh, a chart of manager options so that you can be managing against uh, their sort of a playbook of uh, moves for an opposing manager that's something other games don't do. Um, uh, Pine Tar does it better. Uh, I'm a Pine Tar person. I think Pine Tar is the best game out there. Uh, but Baseball Classics, if you want to manage against something, Baseball Classics allows you to do it. I think that's a bonus as well. 
The premium teams, they're adding to all the time. They've started with World Series teams, um, but they're adding to those numbers all the time, and I would think that their investment in the time to make premium cards is just going to go up and up and up as demand goes up. So, in a nutshell, um, is this the best game on the market? Probably not. Um, is it the worst game on the market? Absolutely not, I would say. Um, is it worth the investment? I think it is, especially if you target your spending to what it is that you like uh, your baseball game to do and the types of teams you like to play. Um, I've spent a lot of time with baseball classics. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, is it going to change your life? No, it's not. Uh, but are you going to have fun with it? I think you will, and I think it's worth the investment. If you're looking for a game that maybe is a little less known, a little less publicized than some, uh, but is a fun game. Um, um, so that's where I come out on all of that. I hope this series of videos has been helpful. Uh, and again, next week, I'm going to be putting some games on my channel so that you can see how the game plays, how the cards look, how the, inter how the batter pitcher interaction uh, works and uh, see if you like the outcomes. Maybe that'll be something that will help you decide about either uh, using the game more in your rotation of games or whether to purchase it in the first place. Um, so for now, I'm Kurt Berglund. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. I hope this information has been helpful and uh, have a great day. So long, everybody.